YouTube. This is Sant Ninja Ten and Call It Colby. Hi. Yeah. How's it going? Uh, we are the Evil PC Nerds. So Woo! we're gonna start a new weekly series called like what? Fifteen minutes of nerd. Nerdiness. Nerdiness. Fifteen minutes of nerdiness. So correct. we so we basically cover most of the news of the week, dealing with iPods, Macs. Pretty much anything Apple. Yeah. And some maybe some PCs like Windows Phone Seven and stuff. Anything. Right. Pretty much anything that we think is pretty important to the consumer. And so we'll do it every week. But today we're going to talk about iPods. Um, yeah, so if you haven't heard, jailbreaking is legal, and you can actually do it through Safari. Woo! I'm so, going to show an example. Yep. Okay. So you open up Safari, and you go up here. And I'm just gonna type this in for you guys. We'll probably put it as an annotation. Uh, well, we can't really do an annotation. We'll probably put a uh, title. Can you see that? Okay, guys. Yeah. All right, it's move it jail. up. Here. Jailbreakme.com. All you have to do: slide to jailbreak. Oh, slide jailbreak. It might take. It, it'll take, take a few minutes. Yeah, like three minutes for me. It, it, if and there's then, too much server load, then you might not be able to do it at all. Yeah, and then if you we have. have oh, sorry. If you have, oh, that's cool. If you have the app folders, um, or if your iPod's completely clean, like you just updated it, restored it to 4.0, it should be on the second page, and that would be Cydia. Yeah. Everyone who's jailbroken before knows what it is. Yeah. Um, just zoom out here so you can actually see the iPod. Yeah, so, uh... Tell them new features? Yes, that, well... Well, that's kind of already been covered. Everyone yeah. knows, but... Anyway, um, so, um, some stuff you can like unify the iPod, so music and videos becomes one app, which they just like do. the iPhone. Yeah. Which they should do default. See, yeah. I have my all my songs. Can you see that, guys? Songs and then my video. Yeah. It's really convenient. Mm -hmm. Like I was watching the Gadget Show yesterday, and it's an epic show. So so I just go to the iPod to click it. So I was listening to a song. And then I decided to go listen, watch the Engadget show. So I just went over to video instead of having to press the home button and switch the, and switch apps. Yeah. If you guys also noticed, um, you can get five icon dock. It's pretty awesome. I would recommend it. And you can get a five column springboard, which makes your home screen have five columns instead of four. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, it looks kind of crowded. They can fit more on there. Yeah. Uh, as you guys can see, I am on Verizon here. <laughs> nah. You can change your carrier with um, uh, a, advanced, tweak, a yeah. tweak in um, Cydia called Advanced Preferences. It's There's other cool. stuff in there, too. Yeah, see, I'll show you. Oh, not me, though. You go over to Settings after you... Um, you have to select it in Winterboard after you download it. Yeah. Just go over to General. And then you should have a lot more than just the date and time, international and keyboard. You have Power Management. But really, if you didn't have the home screen wallpaper... And if you have an iPod Touch 2G, then there's no real reason to jailbreak other than SB settings and some of the advanced preference stuff. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Something I really like about this, though, is if, oh, I'm going to exit out of settings. I'm really off today. Mm -hmm. So if you go over to settings, with advanced preferences enabled, uh, and you go to brightness, you can do custom brightness. So you can actually set it. Like so a percent. So you can percent. do 10%. Well, looks good. Is 30 good? No, do it's like right. 10. 10? Yeah. Is that good? Yep. So you can set it on percentages instead of dragging it. Yeah. Which is all, which gives you more precise movement. Mm hmm One gripe that I have is if you change the brightness in SB settings and then lock it, it will... Mine doesn't too much. So I go, let's do, let's go all the way. I know you guys can't see it that well. Wait. I find it and I lock it and oh, then right, I... Oh, maybe it does. Yeah, so it gets kind of annoying. Huh. So I end up having to go into settings anyway. Eh, I kind of like But it. still, there are some tweaks to SP settings, like play, iPod, you can change push notifications and stuff, so it's really convenient. Mm -hmm. um, Especially. I'd... Well, enough about the iPod. Let's let's give some more news. Um, yeah. There's been some rumors about um, an iPhone 5 and an iPad mini. Yeah. Well, it's the just... iPhone 5, we know it's going to come out next yeah, summer. Yeah, but iPad mini, that's kind of yeah. new. I didn't yeah. I wasn't expecting that. Cuz you know, if you have all the functionality of an iPad for half the price, a little smaller screen, yeah. I think people would buy that. Mm -hmm. Cuz I would I would spend the extra 
$50 to get an iPad mini instead of an iPod touch. And um, in other news, uh, iPhone, I mean the iPod touch 4th generations are going to release um, Keynote on August 17th or 18th. That's still rumored. Yeah, so we rumored. don't know if it's true. And there's been some leaked pictures of an iPod touch 4th generation and it's got a camera. And the back, the yeah. back of it's white instead of this gray, so that's cool. No, it's still silver. That it's, was a case that was on it. It was uh, like yours. That's it's clear. Yeah, it, it was. It it looks pretty cool, guys. Although I didn't see a front camera. Uh, yeah, I did. There was. Oh. Yeah, it's a small hole, in the yeah. center. And also, iOS 4.1 beta 3 released to developers actually has FaceTime support. An email, which means you can do it on an iPod Touch and an iPad. Woo! So wait, iPad has a camera? No. Oh well, then in the in the new release that we'll get next oh, year. Oh, gotcha. You mean the iPad Mini? We we'll probably get a next generation iPad too. Oh yeah. Because we when we, when did we get it? March or April? Yeah, sometime like that. Yeah. So then. Yeah. Hey, real quick, I just want to thank. Google and YouTube for making for extending the maximum video time to 15 minutes. Yeah. It's going to be pretty awesome because sometimes I'd have to edit my videos to get down to like 9 minutes instead of 13. And with 15 yeah. minutes, it's going to give us a lot more time to cover what we need to cover. Yeah. You know, the App Store really needs a uh, trial, which yeah. brings us to our next topic, which would be oh, the sorry. try before you buy section. Yeah, let, let, I'm just going to bring this up for you guys. It's... I, I don't know what Apple was thinking. Yeah, Android is way ahead of them on this. Android has a 24-hour return policy. Yeah, if that's you delete the app awesome. and you don't want it, you can get it. You can get your money back. Yeah, which would be convenient because because I just spent three dollars on Monopoly here now edition, and I didn't really like it that much. I have the original, so I would want my money back on that. But yeah. of course, Apple. Yeah, but you can. That's their only flaw. If you go to if you go to featured, and then it try be, then free hit, on the app store, and then try before you buy. It's just, it's just light versions. It's just they pile a bunch of light versions. I mean, what what the heck? Well, light versions do give me. I but, I don't like light versions because it's just. Yeah, because you want to test out the full feature, see if it's yeah. worth the dollar or mm. whatever. I mean, if I, if I'm gonna spend nine dollars on an app, I want to know it's good before I buy yeah, it. Yeah, and the thing with this is that most apps don't have light versions. Yeah, like Final Fantasy. Yeah. Didn't Final like Fantasy it. is pretty epic. Huh? Yeah, I liked Final Fantasy. Yeah. So most of these apps did not have a light version. Although, just another. Quick, Wolf Boy did. Yeah. Uh, another quick note: Civilization is. Free. Civilization Rev uh, Revolution is free today. Free in the App Store. That's a six dollar app. I I'm I'm a big fan of that kind of strategy. Yeah, strategy thing. games are pretty fun. I just I wish they had a Wi-Fi thing so me and my friends could go. Yeah. You know, kill each other. It's pretty awesome. Here, a cool guys. thing on the cool thing that I got in Cydia oh, the other Thanks day, for taking over the camera. Um, was transparent lock screen, so I can have my wallpaper and then the bars that are you know like behind the time and then the slider are gone so it's transparent so you see more of your wallpaper it's really cool okay so uh, if, right here civilization revolution just just yeah. throwing that out there throwing we that have to thank uh, appadvice.com because that's how we got that's how yeah. we get a lot of our news um i'm just going to show you guys can you see that App advice. Yeah. It's a two dollar app. It's in categories in the news section. It's worth two dollars. They give you a whole. They give you everything you want to know. They. Yeah. It's got like sales for apps and yeah, stuff. Yeah. It tells you. See right here. The the leak. The rumor of a leaked iPod Touch fourth generation. Yeah. See, it's got a camera. Yeah. Let's see if we turn it. You guys see that? Okay. Camera I'll, up I'll go to that on my iPod, see if there's a front-facing camera, because yeah. I don't really want to come in the camera and block the view. They're on iOS 3. That's kind of weird. Yeah, you'd think that they would load iOS 4 preloaded on there. Yeah, that, that was kind of strange. Yeah. But, you know, that might be from, like, China or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the source that, uh, I don't know, they, they did other rumors that um, were, iPad, turned out to be true. iPad mini, um, uh, iPhone I'm, 4. Uh, they had the I'm, iPhone 4 before... They rumored it before it, any keynote or anything came out. Well, that was Gizmodo. They they bought a stolen prototype of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. 
thank you all you guys out there doing stuff for the consumers like that. Yeah, but I'm sure um, Apple wasn't happy about that. Yeah. Um, I'm... How much time we got left? We have five minutes. Wait, we've only gone ten minutes? Yep. So, um... That's pretty much all the weekly update. Um, I don't really see anything else new that we can cover. Yeah, except um, we can cover, like, some... We can we can do a quick app review, I guess. Oh my. For lols, why don't we just, um... Review app advice. <laughs> or should we review a game? Um, I think a game. Okay, so... I'm a bit pilot. Uh, Bejeweled? Bejeweled most people know about, especially with the new update. Asphalt 5? Um, is it still 99 cents? Yeah. Awesome. Then let's go, let's go for it. Oh, I, I got dibs. Uh, no. Alright. <laughs> okay, people. So... Let me move this trash can that is blocking the gate into using my iPhone. So... See, Asphalt... Gameloft has an awesome new animation. I know, it's pretty epic. So this is Asphalt 5. It is four ninety nine in the App Store, but it went to let me just it went to ninety nine cents. It's in the top free. It's not in the top free. It's ninety nine. Oh, no, top free. I'm sorry. <laughs> top paid apps. It's one of the first ones. I would recommend it to anyone who loves racing games. This yeah. is a really, really. This good is a game off game that where the accelerometer is actually responsive and not fun to use. Because I have Ferrari GT Evolution, which I got for 99 cents on. And the accelerometer, you have to you have to tilt the whole thing sideways <laughs> to just barely turn. That's and a lot of times you need to turn around. So I'm so as I'm tilting it, I start to tilt it upside down. And then the whole game thinks I'm going in the other direction. So it turns <laughs> like this. Sk- so, so I end up just using either the steering wheel or tap the screen. So as you saw that awesome intro there. Yeah. So, there's girls on this game. That's what makes it pretty awesome. <laughs> so there's my pimped out car. Let's just play. Let's go over and what's this? We have a cop chase. That sounds interesting. Reminds me of Need for Speed on Yeah, right. Where does that cracking sound? I don't know. Stop breaking my chair, man. Sorry. Can you guys see that okay? Yep. All right. This might be kind of hard to play, but whatever. Here, I can... I can probably show it off by going like this. Yeah, nice try. <laughs> Three, two, Yay. One, go. So, oh crap, okay. Um, Can they see that? Yep. All right, cool. So basically, you have nitrous, and you can... It's kind of like, I think it's better than Need for Speed Undercover. It's some parts, but other parts, no. The yeah. game itself, like the racing, out, I like the racing better than Need for Speed. But I just wish there was some more upgrade features, because you have to actually unlock the upgrades instead of just buying them when yeah. you want. I like um, that there's different shortcuts and stuff. Yeah, and I like the you level up and gain experience. Yeah. Shortcuts are a nice Nice addition. Here, if you move your iPod down, then we could actually see. Right here? And uh, yeah. Ah, there should be a shortcut over here. Ah! Yeah, I'd be doing a lot better if I could see, but. Yeah. But overall, it's a pretty fun game, and it's worth the 99 cents. Yeah. So, so that was Asphalt that, 5. That's. So we're now at 14 minutes. Um, um, wrap I, it up? Yep. So we are the evil PC nerds. Um, so we we did a app review. We'll do more app reviews in the future, and we will also do this. Uh, Fifteen minutes of nerdiness. Uh, every week. Hopefully. Hopefully. School. I don't know. Yeah. Um, we'll probably be able to do it just not together. Like every other week, we can do it together. Yeah, our own video chat or something. Yeah. So anyway, we'll figure something out. So, we are the Evil PC Nerds. This has been a 15 minutes of nerdiness video. Peace. Yep.